Right, hello there. Um, I'm, this is Philip Northover. I'm the technical service manager for FMC from the area of Southern California and Arizona. And right now I'm in an alpha, alpha, alpha field uh, near uh, Ripley, California in the southeast portion of the state. And uh, I'm here to talk to you about a number of alfalfa pests. Uh, we're in a field that has a lot going on right now, so uh, I'll just go by and point out some of the, uh, some of the insect issues we have uh, going on right at this moment. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, the field, at the base of the field here, and you can see these areas as we scrape away some of the uh, debris. Uh, we're looking for some granulate cutworms. Now they're generally active at night, so they don't want to be found right now but uh, we'll see if we can uh, dig dig some out you know, or find some near the near the surface of the soil oh there we go there's a nice big individual right there uh, yeah so there's one example of a granular cutworm as you can see it's kind of a lightish brown gray color and uh, they again are primarily active at night and when it comes comes time uh, they, will, they can easily strip away the leaves leaving very little left behind and then we'll essentially remain in this frass and undergrowth until uh, the uh, night comes again. So here's just another example of a granular cutworm all curled up there in a the ball uh, trying to stay out of the heat. Oh yeah, let's see. So quite a high level here. All right, well the next pest uh, which we're seeing evidence of here is bead armyworm. You can see the yellow flagging there. It's basically the, the dried out leaves and shoot tips and uh, as these are skeletonizing insects they'll basically chew away the leaf material leaving only the veins behind but you can you'd be able to see this across the field from a fair distance all of this white white damaged tissue you're seeing here so this fast moving uh caterpillar here is actually a beet army worm uh, you can see it's green it's got the yellow stripes on the on the sides there uh, so that's what's doing the damage so we've got granulate cutworm damage which basically strips the leaves and now we're seeing um, army worm or possibly beet army worm damage uh, showing up on the the upper canopy uh, and as you can see uh, these plants are are in rough shape okay so we've also seen some white flies here so I'm just going to scatter the uh, foliage here and you might be able to can't just be able to see some of them some of them fly away um, again white flies are will basically uh, sort of suck the juices out of the plants so to speak and if you look closely you can see uh, some black black sooty mold on there which is uh, basically living off of that uh, those are uh, no, that sticky material that's coming off from the from the white flies so Again, this is another another issue issue here. I mean, this plant is actually quite sticky to hold, and uh, so this is creating other problems. Problems in addition to that with the, I guess, the reduction in photosynthetic area possibly from the from the sooty mold. So now you can see uh, more sticky material, that sticky uh, substances on the surface of the leaves. Again, uh, more white fly activity here. So. Uh, there is a lot going on in this alfalfa field, as you might, as, as you might expect by now, and uh, and yeah, all throughout all throughout the canopy. Okay, well, I think we've shown you a few pests here that here in alfalfa uh, here in the here in the low desert. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot going on in this field, and uh, and as you can see, we saw some granular cutworms, some bead armyworm damage, some yellow striped armyworm, and we also saw some white flies and the secondary impact of uh, their activity on the leaves as well. 